emergency and conflict avoidance and what to do if something does happen. And I did get a, I did get a sign up here, see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low fuel on the right. Uh-oh. What's happening? Dropping. All right, clear prop. Now this wasn't necessarily a normal flight due to the fact that my mom was in the back seat. She wanted to tag along to see what I did in the air, but a big portion of the flight scared her. Emergencies are something that everyone has to deal with at some point, but I never thought I would have to deal with one now. This shows I could have briefed the flight with my mom a little bit better so she wouldn't have to be as freaked out as she was. When taxiing, you can notice that the oil hood was still open. My mom being a mom, she was skeptical about the plane in general, so this made her even more suspicious. We got up to the hold short line, shut down the engine, and my instructor closed the hood. Although this wasn't a big thing, what is about to occur after takeoff is... Now, if you didn't understand what just happened, the right tank fuel quantity gauge was fluctuating, but I knew we had fuel because I visually inspected the tanks before the flight. Now, let's see if, uh, let's take, let's, let's take a left, hang on, so call power, just tell them we're going to make a left turn, we want to stay in the pattern. Alright. Vessel 4, come on, we're going to make a left turn, stay in the pattern. Side slip this way because we'll put fuel into the right tank. 
Now don't dive. Just keep it just keep it just like that and your airspeed's gonna come down it's gonna bleed down on you. Now let's stay right to the right. Level off. Not yet. A little premature on that. All right there, right about there. Now as you start to sink you pulled it. Beautiful. And nice job, down. nice job, Ethan. And make sure you kick the rudder in and full power for the fire thing Climb flaps up. up. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, you're good. A little bit of right rudder in there, a little bit of a crap. Five degrees, ten degrees. We had uh, two seven zero. So two let's seven like this, yeah. Hey, nice. You good? Okay, how's our fuel flow look? Fuel flow is way up. Okay, so we're good. Way up to 19 gallons an hour. Much better when you rotated that time. You didn't pull up too high. You yeah. Kept it nice and low. That's great. There's a little bit of side loading though. Two seven zero on a heading. Successive for Echo Papa's on that point, we're going to fire out to the north. For Echo Papa, right turn on northbound approved. Right turn on northbound approved for Echo Papa, Alright, now we can depart at 45 degrees. Okay. So where's your 45? Right here, you're using the heading indicator 300 on the heading, right? 300? Yep, 300, yeah, 300 because you saw the marker right there? Yeah. That tells me my 45s. And we're going to go up to 2500 if the clouds let us. King or 9 3 Charlie, go back, runway 26, taxi, be alpha, cross 3 5. There's coming up 2,500. Okay. Uh, Cessna 25 Kilo is at 2,000 feet, we're to the north of the airport, we're over uh, Candlewood Lake, and we would request, uh, we'd like to transition through the Class Delta Airport uh, to the south. Okay. Uh, transition approved at 2,500 feet, and we'll report two miles uh, northeast, Cessna 25 Kilo. Stay in Tower, King Air 3 Charlie, Quebec, 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 Airplanes along the tree line. Uh, you see the grass strip, right? Yeah. Right to the left of that, some airplanes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see them. We'll, we'll go right by them. Uh, let's turn to a heading at three four zero three four zero. Now in landing and flaring, does it help to look towards the end of the runway? Yeah, you look all the way down the runway. Okay. When, yeah, once it starts to flatten out and. A lot of times people do that subconsciously anyway, but I tell them to. Same right tower, Cessna 474, Kapapa, one one mile to the north inbound landing information, India. Cessna 474, Kapapa, Denbury Tower, report four mile right base, runway 26. Four mile right base, 26, for Kapapa. Cessna 4 Echo Papa, 4 mile left base, 2-6, uh, correction, 4 mile right base, 2-6. Cessna 
the elevator, give you a little induced drag, and light braking, right? Okay, go ahead, you can take it right around here, pra practice taxiing. Full left rudder, a little bit of brake. I guess we're taking the last spot again. Avionics master off. Right. Yeah. 